Hi everybody, Brian Lefazano, Century 21. Gonna make a quick little video here and talk about March's sales statistics. Uh, so we're gonna focus here first on this 1.7 months of inventory because it's a low month and it sticks out to me. If we compare or if we review what it is, months of inventory is how many months it would take to theoretically sell every property on the market at the current sales rate. So it's sales divided by active listings. So we have 1.7 months of homes for sale essentially at our current rate but if we compare it to what's been happening for the last few months here we are at 1.7 and then you can see over the summertime when the market was really slow there was a lot available and it wasn't selling quick but compared to this time last year when the market was peaking it was low again so anything that's below three is said to be a seller's market and prices should be rising so it's going to be interesting to see what happens There's, you know should maybe be expected for a spring market um, but here we are uh, what else is interesting here so this all this data again is on our blog that we publish every month for sales statistics and this chart is comparing uh, March's numbers to February numbers. So sales are up, active listings are up, um, new listings are up, everything we probably should be expecting for the spring market. Prices are down here up slightly, up slightly, pretty much stable. If we look at the last few months of pricing, uh, they've been pretty stable since the fall at about 840. Uh, it would be really interesting to see what happens next month, predicting it to go up probably because of this low months of inventory. Demand is back, buyers are back because interest rates have stabilized, but sellers are still reluctant to sell, I think, because uh, as you can see, the price is way down from where we were last year. Uh, if we compare it to last month and average sale price down 23%. So that might be limiting some sellers from wanting to sell, knowing that they're selling at such a discount from last year. But you have to think that it's all relative. If you're buying in a lower priced market, you're also selling in a lower price market. And the same was true last year. If you were buying in a superheated market, you're also selling in a superheated market. That's it, folks. All my best. Take care. Reach out at any time. Have a great day.